it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Saturday, the 14th of October. I'm Michael Groff. It's time for our annular eclipse that will be happening here in just about, uh, well, it starts in almost an hour and a half from the time I'm recording this. And we'll see about 85% of the sun obscured by the moon. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Great weather for that. A few high clouds out there right now. Those should be moving out of here and we should have sunny or at least mostly sunny sky through the morning hours. Weather, unfortunately, for the rest of the weekend and heading into next week, warming up. Yes, more triple-digit heat is on the way. The potential of at least getting pretty close to some record highs across the region. And temps will remain above average for at least the next 7 to possibly 10 days. So we'll get into all of that and everything else as we dive in. First, the almanac from yesterday, 91 degrees the afternoon high, 65 the morning low. Pretty close to those averages of 90 and 67 Looking outside right now at 6.35 a.m., a few high clouds off to the east in the eastern sky this morning should make for a nice sunrise. Otherwise, we're sitting at 70 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 35, 28% the humidity. The air is calm, the barometer rising. Here's that eclipse information for you again in Phoenix beginning at 8.10 a.m., reaching the peak at 9.31. Again, 85% of the sun will be obscured. And this will wrap up just after 11 a.m. The next solar eclipse visible here in Phoenix will be April the 8th of next year. There'll be a lunar eclipse uh, just a couple of weeks before that. And here's the path of annularity. I keep calling it totality, but it's not actually, it's more of a ring of fire effect. That's what an annular eclipse is. And it'll start up there in, uh, for the United States anyway, across uh, western Oregon, up around Eugene, cutting across northern and central Nevada central and southern Utah, the Four Corners region, and uh, toward Albuquerque and uh, San Antonio, Austin, Corpus Christi. It'll be moving uh, the northwest to southeast across the western and southern United States. And of course, here in Phoenix, pretty good view of that. And lots of uh, clouds, unfortunately, further to the east across the Plain States. So not a really great view for the Great Lakes and uh, some of the east coast regions. So unfortunately... Not good eclipse viewing weather there. All right, let's check the upper air weather pattern across the nation this morning. We've got a ridge building in here across the west that's going to keep us warm, dry, main storm track well to the north. Watch warning map is relatively quiet. Not a whole lot to talk about here. The convective outlook, we do have a marginal risk of severe storms for the eastern shores of the Carolinas. And precipitation, this is valid through next Saturday morning. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, nothing. Region-wide, basically nothing. As again, this weather pattern just isn't going to change anytime soon. And we'll talk about the details of it right now as we get to the models. Take a look. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run, and this is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Troughing for the northeast. Troughing over the northeast Pacific. A ridge in between. Big ridge over central Canada, too. And what it means for us down at the surface today, a few clouds this morning, but really great viewing weather for the eclipse. And uh, temperatures this afternoon should peak into the low and middle 90s. Our eclipse won't, won't really affect temperatures much. It might hold temperatures uh, from warming up a little bit this morning, but uh, that doesn't have too much of an impact on temperatures, especially at this part of the day. Then for tonight, will be mostly clear overnight lows, generally in the 60s to near 70. And then tomorrow, yeah, it's more the same. High temperatures, mid-90s to about 100 as we continue to warm up. And that warming trend continues into Monday. Highs upper 90s to about 102. 
This should be the warmest day of the forecast period, but Tuesday won't be much different. Highs upper 90s to about 101, and we'll still be pretty close to 100 degrees on Wednesday. Again, the sky sunny to mostly sunny and the air mass very dry. Here's Thursday, and highs might drop a couple of degrees, more toward the mid and upper 90s, but we'll still be within striking distance of the triple digits here. Even same thing Friday. I'd say highs 94 to 98, sunny sky continues. Now, here's a week from today. This is Saturday, the 21st, and it's it kind of looks like the exact same pattern, isn't it? A big trough for the east, ridge here in the west in the plains, and another trough, another wave moving toward the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to result in a continuation of above average temperatures and dry conditions. However, as we go out 10 days, this is Monday, the 23rd, the GFS shows an interesting setup here, a short wave coming into the southwest and a tropical system it has down there off the coast of Mexico. You know, if that verifies, it could pull a little bit of moisture northward up into Arizona. But I, again, this is 10 days out, tropical systems, closed lows, upper lows. This is basically off here in fantasy land. Let's hope that that happens because that would bring in some cooler temperatures and at least a small chance of precipitation. But We'll just take the wait and see approach on that. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 28th of the month off the GFS ensemble. Again, the mean right around a tenth of an inch. There are individual members that show rain, but most of our members, both in the GFS and ensemble suite, keep us dry. And I think the rest of October looks pretty dry, barring some kind of unforeseen situation. And temperatures off the national blend of models. I know you don't want to see it. This looks more like mid-September than mid-October with highs right around 100 degrees. And even as we do lower temperatures a bit, we'll still be well up into the 90s, well above average all the way out through 10 days and perhaps beyond. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video will be due back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that if necessary. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like these videos, you want to support us monetarily, you can click on that little thanks icon below the video. Donate monetarily to us if you can. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona talking about my Michelle, so go check her out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. We could not do these videos without you. Be safe. Be safe, especially when watching that eclipse. Don't stare directly at it. You know that if you're watching these videos. But, you know, maybe tell the other people that are not quite as savvy as yourselves and uh, enjoy that eclipse. They are, they're relatively rare. And have yourselves a beautiful Saturday.